Till the one day when the lady met this fellow And they knew that it was much more than a hunch That this group must somehow form a family That's the way they all became the Brady Bunch The Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch That's the way see you guys there. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be this melting bad bitch alien took your life insurance money. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Thank you, Keish. I almost forgot that and that was a very, very important part of the title. This is today's Halloween makeup look. I wanted to start off with something that was easy and maybe you could just use stuff that you have at home. I was inspired by an illustration that I found online which I will also put right here. Very, very cute sketch. It's like realistic but also cartoony and I thought it would be super sick. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay. All right, let's get started. So prior to filming, I did try to block my brows out with a little bit of glue, didn't do too much of a good job. But as you will see later, you can work with your natural brow, so don't worry too much about it. Just start off by mixing some face paint. This is actually the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, and I mixed a deep green, a yellow, and a white to get this sort of lime green color. And you're just gonna wanna paint any part of your body that is gonna be showing. Now I'm taking the Mehron Colorless Powder and the Makeup Forever Flash Palette is great but you do want to set it especially if you're using it all over your face because it is a cream product and you don't want to be slipping and sliding all over the place. Going into my Mehron Water-Based Face Paint, I'm going to use that to create some big ol' lips. What's cool about this look is you could really give yourself that voluptuous Angelina Jolie pout. And then I'll be using, um, I think this is the Coco K Liquid Lipstick by Kylie Cosmetics. It's her collaboration one with Chloe. And I thought it was the perfect pink for this pout. So I'm gonna use that liquid lip and then go back into the face paint and create little lines and textures so the lips look nice and pillowy. All right, so now it's time for the drips, which is like 99.9% .9 of this tutorial. Um, starting off with the lips, I found it was easiest to take a makeup wipe and clear off almost like a little line, and then draw a drip over the lip. This is gonna give the look so much dimension uh, because it's gonna look like your face is dripping over the lip, so it's my favorite part of the look for sure. And it's very simple. As you can see, the shape is kind of like a, a V and a U mixed together, so you wanna really taper the V, and then at the bottom, instead of making it pointy, try to make it a little bit more round, and it's gonna give you that drip look over the lip. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the outer part of the mouth as well, just to add a little bit more dimension. The reason I love this as the first Halloween tutorial is because it's, like I said, I know people are gonna say this is not simple, but compared to maybe other looks that I have done in the past, this one is more on the simple side because this is pretty much the extent of what you'll be doing is creating these drips along the whole face and it has a lot of impact. We're not gonna be doing any shading or anything like that. I'm just taking the black paint and drawing out my nostrils, sort of like they would in a comic book type makeup. Similar concept where you're just drawing out all your features. All right, we're gonna define the eye sockets a little bit over here. I just used the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, and what I did was I just took a little bit of brown and mixed it into the mixture I had on my face to create the hollowness of the eyes. And after I did that, I was like, wait, my eyeballs gotta be white. So I just took a makeup remover wipe and cleared the lid space off. Now you're just gonna wanna draw an eye shape around your eye, and I'm just using a black eyeliner. This is Benefits Black Liner. Creating an eye shape and taking it down to my lower lash line. And we'll fill that in later. It's gonna look weird for a minute, but just wanna get the basic shape down. Going into the brows, I'm actually using the water-based face paint, and I'm creating brow strokes, making it look more like a drawing than I would my normal brows, so not super perfect. Just kind of, you know, slap them on there. I think I'm carving out the brow here. It's hard to say. I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I messed up and I was carving it out. Oh, 
Look at that, I added a little drip on the lower lash line of one of the eyeballs. Just like the lips, similar concept. And then I'm taking a white water-based face paint. Um, I think I mixed a little bit of yellow into the white so it wasn't super stark, but ended up putting white eyeshadow over it later anyway, so you could just use white. Um, and the reason I use water base is because I didn't want the cream to be creasing on my lid. So I used water base, made sure my eyes dried before I blinked and all that, and it ended up working out really well. So from here on out, we're just going to be drip dripping. We're going to be creating the melting look and drawing a bunch of squiggly lines. And it's pretty simple. I'm doing the bags around the eyes, and it's just squiggly lines. You can kind of go with what you feel with this. In the end, it's gonna look really cool. And just know that at first, you're gonna question if it's gonna look cool, like I did. I was like, does it look like I'm just drawing boobies on my face? Like, what's happening? And in the end, it looked good. But I definitely went through that, um, that process in my mind. After a few drips, you just start flowing, like it just starts becoming so simple and you start to realize that the more little lines that you make, the cooler it's gonna look, especially around the hairline. Don't forget to make it look like a drawing around the hairline as well. And try to fill as much space as you can. Also, I'm bringing it down the neck because I'm choosing to show my neck and my decollete. And believe it or not, that's it. That's all you gotta do to make it look cool. I'm gonna add a wig from insert name here. This is called the Kim wig, making sure to hit those ears. Don't get caught slipping. All right guys, so that is it. This is the finished makeup look. Bad bitch alien. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or maybe I just won't make Halloween tutorials anymore. Marky would love that. He'd probably put a PSA and tell everyone to thumbs down the video. Can't trust his ass. Keesh? Yes. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video, bye. You coulda had a bad bitch, non-committal, help you with your coverage, just a little.